Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Are you uh, got a sweat lodge going in there? That dark, <laughs> dark tent in this, right in the sun. Yeah, no, no, it's perfect. How'd you sleep? I think I slept pretty good. I woke up a million times. I evicted several uh, ticks. Oh, sure. Nine forty in the morning, breaking camp here north side of Snowbank Lake on Newfound Bay campsite. Beautiful morning, breezy, plenty cool, but really nice. The walk in and out of this site is amazing. Beautiful grove in Norway's. Watch out for that rock. Which one? It moved, the big one. Yeah, it's up here. Campsite's right down there. It's beautiful. There's a boat out there even in the motor section. I must say, this is a really nice day. Jerry did survive the night. Didn't want to turn around and go back, so we're going to keep going around this lake. We're not halfway yet. It's a big lake. Yeah, shortly after I stopped on that cliff there, there was uh, one of those old campsite marker posts. It's walking down to it right out from the big island. I've never been to this, stopped at this campsite before. Looks like the trees really took a beating here. Nice fire grate though. Oh yeah. Main trail is up on top of that hill. There's a newbie. Not really a newbie anymore, Aaron. Day two, I think you're you're, you're uh, experienced now. Jumbled jumbled mess down here. Want me to take a picture of you? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. No, you want me to take a picture of you? No, no, I got it. This is like uh, yeah, this is challenging. <laughs> Beautiful day though. What is valley? Whoever cleaned this up made the trail open. Thank you. We're going up. Of course, the video won't do it any justice whatsoever. Oh yeah. That's actually why a guy should do squats. <laughs> oh. And it's a steep one. Only gone halfway up. Wow, this is nice. Love this time of year, you can see all the trees before there's leaves on them. Stopped here at Grub Lake, take a uh, water and M&M &M break, at least M&Ms for me. I don't know what Jerry's gonna snack on, but. A little siesta. <laughs> yeah, you'd much rather be back at work, huh, Jerry? <laughs> miss all that stress, schedules, and budgets. <laughs> so Jerry came up with a good one. He's been trying to convince me that 
climb up, the, up these hills and such, and I say, yeah, it's a lot of work. And he said, no, it's a lot of play. And I guess he's right. It is a lot of playing. Pretty nice. It'll only work if you're getting a W-2. The rest of it, we get to do it. We get to go hike and we get to this go up and down hills. Pretty nice, pretty rugged, rugged area, a lot of blown down trees. Uh, you can see right across the lake over the hillside all the trees that are down and how bare it is. And it's a nice grove right here, but all along in the woods, pretty, pretty open. A lot of the trees have blown down over the, I don't know if it was all from 2016 storm or some after, but I must say it's a pretty perfect day. Well, here's the spot that I was concerned about. This was a really wet crossing before last time I was here. You come down that hill and then uh, goes right into this flooded swamp and the trail picks up the ridge the other side. It was here before there was no beaver dam and we had to, we got some logs in the water and we managed to get our way across there, but now there's a big beaver dam. And the trick is we got to get over there to the end of it, which is around the face of this cliff. Jerry's working his way there. Once we get to that dam, it looks like we can get across fairly decently. Otherwise, it's pretty flooded in the trees here, so I think that's a no-go. So give it a shot this way. We got over here okay. Now if we get down through these bushes, over to the dam. Jerry's kind of on it. Oh boy. That sucker is full. And there's a the trail right over there. stop right here for lunch it's about noon Jerry's digging his pack sorry I don't mean to get so much view of your rear end <laughs> pretty little spot right here I'm gonna have uh, uh, zesty lemon pepper chicken pack here on a little round bread unit it's heavy nice to get out of the pack and it should taste good Cliffs in the distance, wonderful breeze, perfect uh, mix of sun and clouds. It's actually sawed on top of it. Waterfall after it, so big. Hey, <laughs> look at that—a a cattail swamp. Very rare up here to find cattails. Right uphill on top of the that hill here. on top of this hill. I think this is the peak that we climbed. Big overlook of the lake. 
all around. We just walk through all that stuff. Pretty darn nice up here. We made it so far. Are you taking a picture? Oh yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. A little bit of rain cloud going on. Hey, look at there, there's an eagle right there. Like we're looking down almost for a while an eagle. Pretty neat. Goat goat climb here. So we go right from uh <clears throat> flooded trail we just wide, waded through to uh, this mountain goat, goat path. <clears throat> we just stopped for water here on one of the sites on Snowbank Lake. What a path. I think I'm going to put the camera down before I try it though. Yeah, here's the next campsite on Snowbank. Windy as it can be. The trees are hammered down in here. Fire grates right over there. Some tent pad looking areas there, and maybe one down here. But you get to a canoe, obviously, but I don't know. You know what? Go a little further, it might have a trail going up. Yeah, maybe. But to get here it was kind of a bushwhack. We could kind of see it from the trail, and there was a couple of cairns along the way. So just checking it out future reference now I have it uh, tracked on my GPS to Forage Landing or Disappointment Lake from Snowbank waterfalls and rapids coming here to the bridge that thing is roaring wow well the good news is Jerry the bridge didn't get washed out that's good Pretty neat though. Yeah, this one's uh, going to be challenging, Jerry. To yeah, think about this, about this, to think about this for a while. Well, we're thinking. <laughs> that one moves. I'll straighten it out for you. Okay. Oh, that one moves too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you, but I'm going to laugh at you. Okay. I'm going to find my way over here. There you go. All right, my turn. Jerry and I set up camp here on Disappointment Lake. The first site on Awesub Lake was occupied. So we came here to this uh, canoe site on Disappointment. It's quite beautiful. Wind has calmed down. Got a fire going. We're fed. We're cleaned up a little. And our setup. Jerry set it up over there and I'm set up down over there big open site lots of rocks all over we kind of re rebuilt the fire grate a little bit and we're just kind of kicking back the sky is clearing pretty good just like they said filtering a little water oh yeah we filtered a lot of water i'm doing it right now listening to the loons jerry's <laughs> jerry's got a little similar setup here with uh water filter he's got a, a dry bag with a added fitting and a hose and a hydro blue filter and going into smart water bottles learn from the best it's not perfect yet it's working pretty good though for some reason that filter is a little slower i don't know if it's just because the bag's a little smaller the height isn't as much or whatever but but that sure works good Come jerry on. seems to like the way the water tastes up here so that's good Surprised by how the water tastes really good. Plus, it's 32.5 degrees, so it's really nice and cold. 